Okay guys, welcome back to another zombies video and today we are trying out the crossbow Everyone has said from launch this gun was really good and then it got nerfed But apparently it's back and apparently it's actually very very good once again So as you can see on screen right now is the class that i'm using for it, and it's the thermite tips that apparently make this gun ridiculously broken I haven't actually yet used it myself in zombies, so i'm excited to see what it's gonna be like so let's see in tier one. So we're going to shoot one zombie. It's going to be a one shot. So I'd expect it to be a one shot. But of course, you're waiting for that thermite to blow up as well for it to actually be a one shot. It is also going to be a one shot headshot without even waiting for the explosives. So it's not too bad in tier one. My only problem that I can see with it is we're going to run out of ammo pretty quick. You've only got one shot to then bolt it back. So you're definitely going to need speed cola to get that reload going faster. And I'm interested to see what it's going to be like against tier three zombies. Because of course, you're going to have a lot of zombies around you at one go. So you sort needs to be a bit more careful and a bit more wary so that situation it does blow up all three. Oh no it doesn't it's actually just gonna knock the other two down not fully kill them so let's see what it's like if we do tier one pack a punch it is it just gonna be a straight one shot to the body it is i kind of want to get some zombies together and test it but we do actually get three bullets in the magazine okay so that's interesting i didn't realize you'd get more bullets in each magazine so that goes down and then again the zombie is just gonna fall it's not gonna actually full kill the zombie so interested to see what this gun's actually going to be like once we get it into the tier 3 zone and there's a lot of zombies sort of sitting around waiting around for us even that's not going to full kill the zombie it's just going to knock them to the floor so we've got a tier 2 zombie here let's see what sort of damage it's going to do. tier 2 oh okay so it's going to one shot the tier 2s as long as you're obviously hitting that thermite but i guess the good thing about the thermite is if there's a lot of zombies around it's going to knock them down and then they can't get up and just run straight after you so i guess that is a bit of a positive like in this situation, if I was having loads of zombies around me, it's going to find me some time to run away and actually get a reload going or get the next bolt put into the gun to actually be able to shoot it. Because again, it knocks them down. So I'd be interested to see if this will tier 3 one shot straight away or not. Like I'm interested if I can go straight into tier 3 and try and take down zombies and see if it will one shot still at tier 3 and just knock the others down or not. But as always, we are going to get up to tier 3 pack a punch. And of course, we're going to put that legendary A for tool on it. I'm just hoping the game doesn't crash at all. And we've sort of avoided the game crashing problems now. I really hope that's the case because I can't deal with the game crashing on me yet again. Because that's all I seem to be getting recently. Yeah, the last video, we didn't quite get to finish properly. Simply because the game crashed. I had no more tools left to go into the game or anything like that. And speaking of the game crashing, I just remembered I don't actually have any good loot. I've only just found a tier 2 plate vest. I need to get a large backpack, a gas mask, all of that sort of stuff. So I want to sort of head towards that tier 3 zone and see what sort of damage we can do with this gun. But what you guys have been saying, this gun absolutely thrives against bosses in this game. That's where this gun is meant to be ridiculously good. Because apparently the damage that this thing does, especially with those thermite tips, is going to do an insane amount of damage to boss zombies. So I'm excited to try it out against like mega abominations and all that sort of stuff and just see how it is going to get on. And I'm also a big fan that they've actually taken into consideration you're going to need more bullets for this gun when you're using it. So when you tier one pack a punch it, or just pack a punch it in general, you're going to get three bullets in each magazine, which is a big W actually. So I'm going to quickly run around, try and get some contracts together. So we've at least got money to tier two pack a punch this thing before we head into the tier three zone. Okay, so we've actually got a mangler that's just pulled up. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to this if we just shoot it three times. So I've missed my second shot there, which is a bit annoying. But the one reload is going to put all the bolts back in that one bullet, which is great. Let's keep firing at the mangler, see what sort of damage we can do. Okay, so it is going to kind of melt through them pretty quickly. Considering that's a tier 2 boss, and I've only got this to tier 1 pack punch, that's not too bad. Okay, so we're in tier 3. Let's see if we can find a zombie or two just to try and take out and test the gun on. I'm not going to stay in tier 3 as of right now because I don't think it's going to be powerful enough. But I just want to see if I can find one or two zombies to actually try the gun on before we go any further. So I've got a couple hellhounds that have run up. That's going to take that hellhound out. It's actually going to take both of them out. So we've got a couple of zombies. Let me just get rid of these hellhounds really quick. Right, so there we go. There's a tier 3 zombie. Okay, it did actually take it out with no sorts of problems. So we should... Okay, it does one-shot the tier 3 zombies. Let's let it blow up. It should knock that other one down. It didn't. But we are going to be able to... T we are going to take down tier 3 zombies. Not with too many problems, to be totally honest. It doesn't seem like... Even at tier 1 Pack-A-Punch... We're going to have many problems taking down tier 3 zombies, which is kind of interesting, to be totally honest. I didn't expect it to be as good as this. Like, I thought the explosives to them might do a little bit of damage, but not fully take them out of the game. So it's very interesting that it actually does the damage to take them out. And like I said, once you get speed cola, and obviously with the use of stamina up as well, I can get away from the zombies pretty easy. It might not be too, too bad in tier 3. Of course, it's not going to be the best gun. Because, of course, you've only got three bullets to take out. But we've got a disciple that's just pulled up. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to a tier 3 disciple at tier 1 pack a punch. So it's not going to do too bad on the damage. 
Again, it's gonna... Okay, do you know what? Do you know... This, wait, is that Disciple dead? Okay, so it's not quite dead, no. I need to be a little bit careful with my health. Let's pump all of them into it. So that's the Disciple taken care of. We've got a Mimic now chasing us. See what sort of damage we can do to a Mimic. Let's get that Bolt back in. Wait, did that Mimic die that quickly? Okay, this actually might be onto something. You guys may have been onto something when you said about the crossbow. I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty powerful. So I now really want to get this up in rarity. Like, I don't know if pack a punching it or making it legendary a for tool or anything like that's actually going to make that much of a difference. Simply because of how powerful this thing actually feels. Like, it's... It's a one-shot, basically. I mean, I know it's not one-shotting because you actually have to wait for the explosives to go. But it's basically a one-shot in the Tier 3 zone already, which is kind of crazy. I also want to quickly test if the, da the bullets are actually going to do damage to me. So it doesn't look like the explosive tips are going to do... Okay, there's a Mega Abomination. That's not quite what I was hoping for. But let's just fire a bunch of... Okay, so we've done... A well, I think we've just done one of its heads. Which ain't bad. We can drop some of them down. Okay, so the Mega Abomination is going to charge at me. This might be the fastest Mega Abomination I'm going to take out. Like, the earliest I'll take down a Mega Abomination. Just be careful of the health. Okay, I didn't realize it could actually reach in here and get to me. We can just keep firing the things at it. Okay, it's not doing bad damage. You've got to remember, this is Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch as well, by the way, guys. Like, this isn't upgraded at all. This is no Legendary Eve tool. It's simply just... Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch on the Mega Abomination. And this is the sort of damage that it's doing. I'm not waiting for its head to open up or anything like that. I'm simply just firing everything at it. And seeing what damage we can do to it. Which is actually kind of pretty crazy. Okay, so it's going to try firing electrics at me. We should be able to get them in there. Blow that head up. Is the Mega Abomination down? Not quite. It's getting there though. It's actually definitely getting there. But just having these explosive tips is actually kind of crazy how good this thing is. So the Mega Abomination looks like it is actually about to go down. I can't believe how quick we've been able to take down a Mega Abomination with a Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch crossbow. So I do need to be a little bit careful because we don't really have many bullets left. We've only got three bullets left, but he's going to be melting it. We should be able to fire them last three. It's not quite done the damage, but it's done enough damage. It has managed to take down the Mega Abomination, which is pretty crazy how quickly we actually managed to drop that, realistically. Okay, so I just found a legendary Aether tool actually running through the Tier 3 zone, which isn't bad, to be honest. My one problem is I literally have no bullets in my gun. Like, I've run out of bullets completely from taking down that first Mega Abomination, which has left me in a little bit of a pickle, but... With stamina up and being able to get around the map with our fists out, we should be able to get around pretty quickly. Get to a ammo station, throw some decoys down if I need to. And I know I've got my throwing knives as well, so throwing knives are very, very useful to have if you don't use them already. Like here, we've got a Hellhound chasing us, can easily take it out. I've got PhD flopper on, so we're going to have to do the damage. Mega Abomination just blew up in front of me, which has kind of done me a favor because I need to get to the ammo before I end up taking down anything. Right, so there we go, we've got some more ammo back. We should be in a good spot now. We can go and get some perks. We can also tier 2 pack-a-punch this thing. If I can get to a pack-a-punch machine somewhere. If I go and res my teammate as well. So I am really interested to know if pack-a-punching this and putting an Aether tool on it is going to make it any better than what it already is. Because it feels pretty powerful. Like, I don't really have to do much to take these zombies out. As you've seen, I'm running around with a tier 1 pack-a-punch. It's easy to use. It's taking down zombies and bosses and all that sort of stuff with no real problem. So I'm not too sure if actually pack-a-punching it and putting Aether tools and stuff like that on it is going to make too much of a difference or not. I really don't know. So I do quickly want to buy Speed Cola. I will leave... I might take Quick Revive as well because that will still give us enough cash to be able to... Right, this is a Mimic. Give us enough cash to pack-a-punch it. Sorry, I can't get my sentence out there because I'm trying to focus on what's going on. So we've got a Mimic chasing us. One more bullet should take it out pretty quick. I mean, it's really not a bad gun to use. I'm not going to lie. It's actually not a bad gun at all. The one problem that I've got right now is I'm not hitting my shots. So it's making it kind of difficult to take these zombies out. We'll pop that so i got some health again. But as long as you're hitting your shots with this thing, it does crazy damage. It really does do crazy damage. You can get stuff like that. You can just knife them to the point where you're going to finish them. It's really not a bad gun to use, guys. It really, really isn't. But like I said, our test is that we really want to pack-a-punch this thing and, of course, try it out with a legendary Aether tool as well. Like, in that situation like that when there's a lot of zombies, it's great because it does actually just knock the zombies down, meaning they can't get near you. And it's really... It, do you know what? It's not a bad little gun to try out. I need to be careful because I haven't really got much health and I've got no plates either. So I do need to be a little bit careful of what I'm doing. 
Oh no, there's a Mega Abomination. I wasn't expecting a Mega Abomination to just roll up on me. I'm not going to lie. That wasn't exactly what my plan of action was. I need to just get out of here before this Mega Abomination starts charging me. I want to tier 2 pack punch it and properly try this gun. So let's get inside. I think we need to get upstairs. Give me that armor plate as well. We need to get upstairs and pack a punch this thing and really test it out. Like, I've got big questions. Is Packer Punching and putting an AFA tool on going to make a difference to the gun? Or is it just going to stay exactly the same as it is? I really don't know. So let's try it out. So as the zombie just rolled up, it doesn't look like it's going to do any more damage with that initial hit. But of course, it's just going to then actually take the zombie out once it explodes. So is there much point of putting AFA tools on a Packer Punching? I don't really know. I seem to do a bit more damage to a Mimic when it was more Packer Punch, though, to be fair. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. I've got no self-revive or anything like that. I need to be careful on what I'm doing here. But yeah, it seems to do a little bit more damage to the bosses when you pack a punch it. But it doesn't really make too much of a difference to the other zombies. One thing that I'm definitely noticing is you do seem to take a fair bit of damage from the zombies. Simply because whilst you're waiting for that bullet to explode, they are going to get quite close to you and do a bit of damage. So that is one thing you do need to be careful of when you're using this gun. But as you can see, you can train them up quite nicely. And as long as that, that bow explodes before they get to you... It's going to do damage to the zombies around you, which is decent. But you just do need to be a bit more wary of the fact that these zombies could get literally right up next to you. And if you've got a few coming up to you, you are going to take quite a bit of damage from them. And I've got myself in a corner. Yeah, long day. I did not realize that was happening. Okay, so luckily someone did come along and res us, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted to hope was going to happen in that situation. But yeah, overall, do you know what? It really isn't a bad gun to use. Like I said, I'm going to put a legendary effort tool on it in a minute and try and get up to tier 3 pack a punch as well. Because then we can really test if that makes any difference. Or if it's just a one-shot in tier 3 from standard. Like, is it just a standard one-shot in tier 3? I'm not too sure. Because I don't see the bolts doing ex any extra damage. Like, I don't see the bolt hitting a zombie and it doing a one-shot kill. I don't see that being how it works. So I don't. I just assume it's going to be a one-shot straight from stock in the tier 3 zone, which is kind of crazy. So let me put the legendary Aether tool on and see if it makes a big difference to the gun or not. I do also want to tier 3 pack punch it. I was trying to do a contract and my teammate was driving the truck and he just got it blown up, which really wasn't great because I don't know, well, I don't know what path he was taking, but he took the wrong path. So it is what it is. I do need to go and buy my perks back though. Otherwise, tier 3 is going to become a bit of a struggle for me because I'm going to need jug. I'm going to need speed cola and stamina up. So there, when I shot the head, it seems to do a little bit more damage to the head. But again, as you can see, the bolts don't seem to do any extra damage as such, which is a bit weird. So yeah, it just seems like it might just be a one shot from stock on this gun which is actually insane i'm not gonna lie it's actually pretty crazy that this gun is going to be a one-shot gun in all zones from any rarity and any pack a punch that's kind of crazy to me and i also realized i wasn't taking damage from the explosives because i had phd flopper on so if you're going to use this i highly recommend running phd flopper otherwise it could become a little bit more challenging we've got a mimic coming up let's see how quickly we can take down a mimic Okay, so it's literally on, like, no health. There we go. Mimic's down already. This gun against bosses is actually insane. Like, it's a very, very good gun against bosses. Okay, so there's a Disciple pulled up as well. See what sort of damage we can do to a Disciple. We're just met. Like, this gun's ridiculous at how good it is against taking down bosses. Uh, I'm going to buy a quick revive. I'm also going to buy... We've got a couple more we can buy before I actually have to... And I'm also going to buy Deadshot just because it means we're going to one-shot a lot easier. But then I'm going to go and tier 3 pack a punch this thing and really test out the gun and see if it gets any better. Or if it literally is a one-shot from every single zone. Which is what it feels like it's going to be because of this explosive tip. It feels like it's legit going to be a one-shot at any rarity that you have the gun. Which is actually insane. I'm just assuming like the higher rarity you get it and the more you pack a punch it, the more damage it actually does against the bosses, which makes taking down Mega Abominations, Mimics, Manglers, HVTs, all that sort of stuff a little bit easier. But let's go and tier 3 pack a punch it and we can really start testing it out. Because as you've seen, once I put it up to tier 3, it took down the Mimic a bit faster. Let's see how quickly we can take down this Mangler before we tier 3 pack a punch it. So it's going to do a decent bit of damage. And obviously we've got a legendary A for tool on, don't forget, a tier 2 pack a punch. So it really didn't take too long there at all to take down. So we can just run around now. We can go ahead and get our pack punch up to tier 3 and test this gun to its full potential. Okay, guys, so here we go. It's going to be tier 3, legendary A for tool. Let's go and do it. There it is, tier 3. Ooh. Okay. So against the armored zombies, it still seems to take a bullet. But the, the damage of the explosive seems to do a little bit more of a radius. So it, it seems to do more damage when there's zombies together. Like, if we watch there... Yeah, it seems like it might do a little bit more damage to the zombies that are just sort of sitting around next to each other, which is interesting. 
But it doesn't seem to do too much more damage. It's not like now the bows are one shot in and then the explosive is killing the ones around it fully. But it is doing a good amount of damage. Like, it's taking down these zombies pretty quickly with no trouble whatsoever. So I'm hoping my teammate actually grabs this bounty and we can go and try it against a high value target and see what it's really going to start playing like. Here we go. We've got a Mimic in front of us. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to a Mimic if I can get it to focus me real quick. I don't even need to get it to focus me really because it still does the damage. We've got a whole bunch of zombies around us. And again, as you can see, if you sort of just shoot at the floor, you can take the zombies out and it's going to do like a decent bit of damage to them. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not going to lie. This gun seems very, very viable. It's, it genuinely seems like a very good gun. But in that sort of situation where the zombies get very close to you, it becomes a little bit more of a problem to use this gun. But if you just fire all the bows at the zombies at the front, it, I don't know, it seems to do decent damage. It really does seem to do decent damage if you just spray the bows when there's a lot of them near you. I can't lie, it's a very fun gun to use. It's a bit of a different gun. There's a disciple that's just pulled up on me, which could have at least like given me a warning that he was there. But how quickly can we take down this disciple if I just hit my shots like that and then we carry on just firing at it? I know it's getting health off of me, which I'm sort of taking this down in the wrong way, really. I low-key think that's someone's high-value target, not ours. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't just have man Mimic above its head. It doesn't just have Disciple above its head. So, interesting that it's not mine. I don't know if it's someone else's bounty or what. But we managed to take it down pretty quickly with not too many problems there. There's a Mangler down there. Let's see if we can just take it out from... Yeah, we can easily take that out from range. There you go. Mangler's going to go down as well. This gun's crazy against the boss zombies, and even against normal zombies, it's pretty powerful too. But we have got a Mega Abomination that we need to go and fight, so let's go and help our teammate out take down this Mega Abomination. Because I think this gun now, it took down a Mega Abomination quickly at tier 1 pack a punch at no rarity upgrades. I think now it could take down a Mega Abomination super fast. I know it's a high value target, so it's got more health, but I think this could be it. Okay, so the Mega Abomination is firing at me. Ah, I could go down here. I could go down if I'm not careful. I need to be a bit wary of what's going on because there's a lot going on near me. I'm out of ammo again. Need to get some ammo picked up, that's for sure. So I can hear the Mega Abomination rolling around next to me. Again, need to be a little bit careful of what's going on. Can't let these zombies get too close to me. But it doesn't seem to be doing too bad of damage against this Mega Abomination. It's done a quarter of its health already. Maybe just sit and wait for it to do this. Managed to get one of its heads gone. I try, kind of want to get my teammate involved in the fight, but he seems to have just ran away. Which isn't helping me out to great extent. I can't lie. It's not going to help, help my fight against the Mega Abomination much easier. Okay, I need to be careful here. I've got like no health. I've got no plate spare. I've got mimics. I've got zombies all around me. I need to try and get to a bit of a different position that's going to make it a little bit easier for me to take on this fight. Okay, so we've got another one of its heads gone. Need to be careful. Okay, so we've got a bunch of zombies around me. Okay, I'm out of ammo again. I thought this might happen. I did think that that might end up being the situation. Let me see if any of these zombies here dropped me ammo or not. Hopefully they did. Okay, we did manage to get a little bit of ammo. Let's let some of these zombies come to us. We can try and take them out. Hopefully they end up dropping some ammo for us. Okay, so I've got two Mega Abominations on me. Not exactly the sort of fight I was looking for. Okay, I need to sort of just play out of this because... There's a lot going on. I've got two Mega Abominations on me. Mimics, Manglers, the, the whole shebang is just coming on to me right now. So that should give us a bit of ammo. Give us some plates. We can then play up, reassess the situation and go back to it. Perfect. Can we get that head gone before it closes it? Yes, we can. It's going to do a decent amount of damage to the, the Mimic, or the, the Mega Abomination, sorry. Okay, so they're literally both on me, just chilling. I just need to see that head a little bit, bro. That's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm looking for is that head a little bit. There it is. There we go. Mega Abomination taken down as a high value target as well. That was not too bad, to be totally honest. That really wasn't that bad of a Mega Abomination fight, considering it was a high value target. I ran out of ammo midway through. 
That was not too bad. I'm not going to lie. This gun definitely is very, very viable against bosses. Like, you can do some ridiculous damage against these bosses. I'm out of ammo once again. So, we're going to get Juggernog and... Okay, so we didn't really get too much from that. Let's pop this ammo into the gun. Turn around. Start firing back at this Mega Abomination again. And the damage is going to do itself. He opened his mouth at the worst time there. I'm out of ammo yet again. So, that's one thing I would definitely say with this. You are going to run out of ammo pretty quickly with it. And then I don't know if there's too many ways around that. You just don't have the biggest ammo reserve. You know, you haven't got crazy bullets to fire at it. It's kind of a little bit difficult to use in that certain situation. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to leave today's video there. I hope you have really enjoyed it because I've actually really enjoyed using this crossbow in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to smash a thumbs up as it helps me out way more than you can imagine. Let me know your thoughts on this crossbow in the comments below and let me know if you guys are going to go ahead and use it yourself. And if you have enjoyed today's video, guys, be sure to check out the channel as there's a whole bunch more zombies content there for you guys to check out. And I would really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe to the channel notifications turn on if you have enjoyed it. But I appreciate what you're saying. Have a greatest day and I will catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.